Testing, one, two, three. Hey, boys and girls. It's me, Mr. Orthopedia, with another episode of Walk Me Through. I'm going to continue the walkthrough for Resident Evil 2 for the GameCube, so let's continue on from where we left off last time. And I just noticed something that the mouse pointer is still in the way. I'll probably move it in a little bit, so hang on a sec. And let's see. Oops, I selected Leon's story again. What the hell? <laughs> you know what? Let's move that mouse out arrow out of the way. Yeah, sorry about that. Alright, moving on. Alright. Resident Evil 2. Yeah, moving on. So, here we go. Yeah, good luck indeed. So, so we just met Chief Irons, and we found the heart key at last. So, with that key, I think we can open that door downstairs and next to the, one of the police offices. So, let's go ahead and go downstairs now. <clears throat> I hope I don't run into any more of those crows on the way. I probably won't because I killed them all. Anyway, moving on. Let's head on downstairs. I'm sure there are lots of interesting goodies down here. We get some herbs here. <laughs> Of course, my item cache is full. Let's go ahead and mix those herbs. <clears throat> so, anyway, moving on. We're gonna kick some ass. Now, we don't need that key anymore. Especially since this was the only heart door in the whole building. Oh, and there's a red herb right there. I'd rather, I better not pick it up. Hmm. I guess I need a club key to get through that door. Let's go downstairs, see what we find. Oh, shit. I forgot about those mutts. Those are Cerberus. Those dogs, I think they're titled Cerberus monsters. They're basically infected dogs with the same properties of a rabid dog. Ow! Ow! I'm getting my ass whooped. Ow! You will die. And of course, I got my ass That's better. I wonder if there's any more of those mutts anywhere. Okay, good. Moving on. Anyway. Let's move on. So... I forgot about those guys. Ow! Let's just go downstairs and wait for now. And of course I got hurt again by those damn dogs. Let's go through this door. Let's open this 
item chest. Let's heal first. I'm actually gonna save first. Because this next part is gonna be uber difficult. Trust me, you'll see why in just a moment. Though I've never really died in this next part, this is going to be very difficult. And like I said, you'll see why in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put some items up. And then I'm going to heal much better. Now once I step through this door, a cutscene will begin starting the next part. I'm going to take out the lighter. I mean, it's for after the next part. So, hang on a minute. There's a cutscene coming up. Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. No, I won't. What's the matter? <laughs> Don't you trust me? It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. Daddy must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. Wait, Sherry. Don't go alone. <laughs> Sherry! Sherry! Okay, you're probably going to see why this is hard, because we're playing as Sherry, and since Sherry doesn't have any weapons of any sort, this can prove all the more difficult, because she has no way of fighting back against those monsters that are up ahead. So we gotta be very careful here. Ow. Now, there isn't really much of an indication of whether, of how badly she's hurt, except for when you open the item window to check your telemetry. So, uh, we get the map of the sewage system. Okay. Let's go here. Yeah, let's head down here. I'm not exactly sure why this place does not have any stairs but we do have some boxes yeah we do have some crates that we need to push first thing we need to move that second one out of the way so we can push the first one in so let's go ahead and push the second one a couple of notches to the right so <clears throat> anyway that's one of these crates. Let's move the first one into place. What we're actually doing is building a bridge. Actually, we're going to move the third one first. Yeah. Now, a certain somebody else will be coming to this part. Though I'm not going to spoil it for you. Anyway, moving on. Let's climb back up. And you're probably wondering, how is this going to be a bridge if it's way down there? Well, there's a control panel up here, and I kind of lost my way. That's what happens when you're playing games with pre-rendered backgrounds. And pre-rendered camera angles. So what we have to do is use this control board and flood the And we do, we have a bridge now. That water's got to be full of shit, literally. It's got to stink in here real bad. So anyway, moving on. We've got the uh, club key. And we're still in the clear. Let's have a look at this photo real quick. 
Oh, it's kind of overexposed, so you won't be able to see it that well. I'm really sorry about that. But anyway, it was a picture of Sherry and her family. And we still got those damn dogs to contend with. Got a Ow! Fuck! That hurt. Let's go through here. We have something else here. I think it's... What's this? Oh, grenade rounds. Now, this is the place where our other character is going to come through later on. Probably in Leon's story. I'm not going to spoil exactly who for those of you who've never played this game before. I just know that it's somebody you should never become too emotionally attached to. Because they are going to die later on. Hey, I didn't say I wasn't going to spoil it completely. I just said it was going to... I just said I wasn't going to name the person who will be playing in Leon's story. In this section. And damn it, these dogs are ass raping me. So, anyway, we have another cutscene coming up. So... Sherry, are you okay? Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here! Here's another! Thanks, sweetie. Now, why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. the ventilation hole anymore. But don't worry, I'll find another way. I can take care of myself. Wait, Sherry, come back. Sherry! Sherry! Alright, looks like Sherry's gonna find her way around this mess. I can't talk. <laughs> well, Anyway, she gave us the uh, grenade launcher, well, the gr grenade rounds and the diamond key. Wait, was it a diamond key? Or a club key? Oh, I forgot about those mutts. Die! Ow! These dogs are ass raping me. Ow! Ow! My ass handed to me by these mutts. Bad dogs. Oh no. Play dead. No. Be dead. Dumbass dogs and I just got my ass handed. I just got my ass kicked. I'm hurt real bad here. What's this? Hey, it's a red herb. I can always use that later. Well, anyway, moving on. Oh no! I forgot about these guys! I should have brought the grenade launcher! Oh shit! Well, I guess the best thing to do is... Do something about... Yeah, kill this guy. Ow! Die! I wonder if there's any more of them. I hope not. Well, let's go into the generator room and see what we have in here. Hey, a green herb, I think. Anyway, let's go ahead and combine them. We can use all the space. Okay, moving on. Let's do something about this generator now. So, what you want to do is move up. Move down one. Up. Up. 
then moved down. And the generator is turned on. I can't believe it. I don't I didn't remember the secret the sequence very well. Because I haven't played this in a while, and I'm surprised I got it right the first time around. Anything on the shelf? Nope. Nothing on the shelf for me. Oh well, let's move on, shall we? We got the generator going. So that means the card reader's working. But we can't quite use it yet because we don't have a card key for the next room. So the best thing to do is, I uh, think... Let's move on, I think. Let's do some more exploring. I hope there isn't another liquor here. Well, I obviously can't open that door. Especially since I don't have a card key to unlock it. So, let's check out the garage where all the police cars are parked. Now, there's a vehicle blocking that door ahead of us. The brake is loose. And uh, here's another herb right there. The security, you know, the security wall's closed, so we can't open it. That means, not yeah, just as well. It's probably a bit too dangerous to go outside anyway. I mean, we do have a zombie outbreak in Raccoon City after all. Yeah. That's pretty much what we can... That's pretty... Yeah. This is pretty much what we can explore of the basement of the RPD. So let's head back upstairs. Oh, actually, let's have a look in here. Let's see what we have in here. We have... Uh, better prep. I have a feeling things are gonna... Yeah, it's the club key, yeah. I thought it was a diamond. Oh well, let's reload our weapons. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we have. Oh shit. Whoa. Let's see what we have in here. We have a red card key. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. I kinda expect it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's what you kind of have to expect in an autopsy room. Ow! Let go! Man. Well, that takes care of them. And, and my condition is caution. Now it's fine. So, let's move on. Yeah, that's what you can expect in the... <laughs> Yeah, that was the autopsy room. Almost every police station has one. Of course, uh, without the uh, reanimated corpses, of course. Now that we've gotten the red card key, we can actually open the door now. But we have to unlock it first using the uh, red card key. And there we go, we've unlocked the door to the RPD armory. Here we are. This is the RPD armory. Yeah. Ammunition for the RPD. <laughs> we get some bolts. Now let's see what else do we have here. Some regular ammunition for your weapons. Like Handgun ammunition. Let's see what we have in this locker. We have a side pack and a submachine gun. Let's leave that for. Let's leave the submachine gun for Leon and equip the uh, side pack. And we're equipped. So now we have two extra slots for two extra items. That's cool. That's really cool. Let's. Oh, I... No, no, I better leave that for Leon. Anyway, moving on.
nothing else in the here, I guess. Let's just get out of here. And head on upstairs. Yeah. Anyway. The garage. And... Well, that's all the basement we can explore in the RPD for now. Well, actually, that's all of it. <laughs> that's all of it we can explore as Claire. Now that we've gotten the club key... Let's do something about this door. So, what exactly is the point of this room? I think there were some parts for my handgun in here, but I couldn't quite see it. Or, or could it be that I've been thinking too much about Code Veronica? There's a letter here. Again, if you need more time to read it, just pause the video. Anyway, moving on, let's see what we have here. We have some, I think those were acid rounds I picked. No, I think they were flame, flame rounds. Now you're playing with firepower, real firepower. Anyway, let's move on. There's one more club door to unlock. The first one we unlocked was the autopsy room downstairs. This one that we just came through. And, well, there's one right next to the main hall. Well, anyway, uh, actually across the hallway from the interrogation rooms. So, anyway, moving on. So... Oh, for those of you who, oh, oh, uh, just to let you guys know now, I'm actually going to play both of their stories twice, but in two different variations. This is the first variation, which is why you see Claire A at, uh, well, on my title screen, right before I listen to part number, the, uh, even though I, even though I clear the game as Claire and restart as Leon, it won't go back to part one until I play the other variation of their stories. So technically, this game has four endings. So anyway, I digress. Oh no, I forgot about you. Ow! Ow! You will die. Ow! Ow! You will die! And I'm still surprisingly good health. Let's... Why am I checking my ammunition? What I really need to do is reload my weapon. There might be another liquor in here. So, let's... There are these three... There are these three faucets here. These three oil lamp faucets. What we gotta do is... Light the lamp. Now, I'm not sure what the variation is here. Nope, not the right one. I could have sworn it was this variation. I mean, this combination. Well, that actually did it. 2, 3, 4, 12, 13, 11. 
was the combination for this puzzle piece. I mean, for this puzzle. I, I, God, I can't talk. Let's see what we have here. We have a gear that fell off of that portrait. And it was a portrait of a... Yeah. We got film B. We're going to head on over to the dark room, but that's going to have to wait until the next video. Until then, this has been Walk Me Through. I'm Mr. Orthopedia saying peace, and that's a wrap. See you soon. Peace.